I am not a cook. <laughs> Are you a cook? Yeah, okay. So the bare minimum, I can get by and see my family. And that's, that's it. So that's all I need. <laughs> it's true. I should say, um, you do get massive credit because you do have two humans that rely on you and they are still alive. So obviously you're doing something right. <laughs> You've been able to feed them. Yeah. The minimum complaints, sometimes complaints, but, okay. but I keep it okay. easy, but real simple. I gotta show you my setup. Well, I don't know, talk about, let me know what you want me to, show. I'll show you my setup. That's like okay. I can show. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let me let me tee this up, guys. Yeah, we're gonna have a okay. live cooking cooking show right here. So basically, let me sum this up for you. All of you, if you don't know it yet, if you haven't seen the past episodes, so I am in Indonesia. I am living in I'm I'm living in Indonesia. I love it. It's been amazing here. And there's all kinds of new I'm I'm getting exposed to all kinds of new cultures, new experiences, and new foods. And I am just I'm a foodie anyway. I don't cook, but I love eating eating and I have been eating my way through all the places in Indonesia, all kinds of yummy things. And so with the holiday coming up, uh, I know cooking is going to be on everyone's mind. Everyone's going to be looking up different recipes for, you know, pumpkin pies and stuffings and all kinds of Thanksgiving things. But we wanted to bring you into the world of Indonesia and maybe one of the authentic recipes from here. And I have to say there were so many to choose from. Uh, so I, I hope that we can do this segment again. I hope you guys love it because there's I have a whole list of things that I want to cook, especially with you, Jennifer, because as I was saying earlier, I love this. This is like this guys. This is why this is going to be entertaining. This is basically the blind leading the blind. So what we're doing here, I picked something. Jennifer has no idea what it is. So I picked something that is signature to Indonesia. I'll tell you what that is in a second. Something I have been eating since the day I got off the plane. It's been amazing. She has no idea what this is. All I did was send her the list of ingredients. So I'm going to see if she can guess what this is. She doesn't know what we're making. She doesn't know what's coming. I've never made this. She's never made this. I am going to try to walk her through the recipe and she's going to try to cook it. And we're just going to see what happens. We don't know if it's going to turn out. We don't know what it's going to taste like. Neither one of us have done this before. So this is just like a blind trust exercise here. We're going to make this happen. So Jennifer, based on, yeah. So some of the ingredients I gave you was, uh, I don't even know. I need to look up the recipe here because I don't know what I'm doing. But um, corn and flour and, and eggs and shallots and scallions, garlic, celery, um, ground pepper, ice water. So based on those things, do you have any idea what you're going to be making? No, because I know that frying is the bomb. I've got, I've got my skillet heating up. Hopefully it heats up quickly. Okay. I, don't know, I have no idea. I thought falafel, but that's not really, that's with like chickpeas, I think. That's probably as close as I got to any sort of guess. I have no idea. I'm just glad I got all the right ingredients. I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad I found this tapioca tapioca flour, also known as tapioca starch, because the recipe you gave me was tapioca starch, so thank God they wrote that on it. So yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's gonna get real interesting is really is what's gonna happen. So. I love this. Okay, does anyone watching, based on those ingredients, so fresh corn, eggs, shallots, garlic, scallions, celery, all-purpose flour, rice flour, salt, ground white pepper, and ice water. Does anybody out there have a guess what we could be making? I'm seeing yeah. this is funny. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Look at this. Nobody See, knows. We're, profesh we're professional here. Cooking show, cooking network. Watch out. <laughs> Give us a call. Look at that. <laughs> We've got this. We've got this staged up. Ky Kyle oh. has no idea either. Okay. Well, you guys, I'm going to tell you right now. Um, it was one of the actually. <gasps> yeah, I love it. You have a cute assistant. Hi, cutie. Hey, real. <laughs> Hi! Tell everybody your name. Maddie. Maddie, Maddie, you are so beautiful. Now, Maddie, I want you to pretend that your mom is not next to you for a moment. And I want you to tell me the truth. Is your mom a good cook? Yeah, <gasps> she is. Ah, <laughs> oh, are you excited for her to cook this? Yeah. She helped me set it up. She helped me uh, chop up the shallots. I had a chopper. I mean, it got real interesting. Did your eyes get watery? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking yeah, of, okay. actually, 
<laughs> Speaking of shallots, I love this. So I'm going to bust you out for this because we talked about oh, this okay. before we went live. So um, this will give you a taste, everybody that's watching, of what is to come and how comical this is probably going to end up being. So Jennifer, let's tell everybody, how did you do with those ingredients? I sent you a list of ingredients. How did you do with that? <laughs> Gosh, there was a lot of Googling in the aisles. Um, you know, shallots, there was scallions. And I don't know. I, I read shallots, but my head said scallops. So I had to make sure to buy the right thing. And then scallions had green onions. So I'm like, no, but I think these are scallions. And so I had to Google that. Good to know it's the same thing. Um, everything else was okay. Oh, the tapioca, tapioca flour, that was interesting. Um, it's actually called for rice flour. There was yeah. no rice flour, so got the tapioca flour. I mean, it could be a lot. It's kind of been way worse. I don't know what I did before Google, so thank goodness. I'm gonna turn down my pants. It's getting really hot, which is good. It's true. It's true. This is hilarious. I'm well. I'm really glad that we had Google and that we didn't end up yeah. with scallions because this is not a seafood dish. So that would have been real yeah. interesting. So guys, so what we are making, it's actually one of the first things I had when I landed here in Indonesia. So this is, you can find these at pretty much everywhere. A lot of street vendors sell them on the side of the road. Uh, you can find them in every restaurant. It's one of the main side dishes. Actually, it's one of the two most popular side dishes in Indonesia. It's called bakwan. Jay Gung, I probably butchered that name. So I'm really sorry to any Indonesian that's watching this. But Bakwan Jay Gung, basically what that means is it's a corn fritter. It's a good old corn fritter. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that's what we are making tonight. Corn fritter. And like I said, this is one of the, the two most popular side dishes here in this country are their potato fritter and their corn fritter. So yeah, pretty much every meal I've had comes with a corn fritter. And then I buy extra to go because there's a lot of stray animals here and I carry them with me. Um, I have a little container that I carry them with me and then I give them to the animals too. So I am feeding the world of dogs here with these corn fritters. So I'm real excited for this recipe, if I can get into this. So I found this recipe off of a woman who's actually a professional chef. She's owned restaurants. She moves and she lives in Indonesia and she cooks these here and this is her recipe. So if it fails miserably, we're gonna blame her. Because clearly it's not going to be anything you do. Oh, no, not going to be me at all. Yeah, this will be great. <laughs> yeah. No way. No way. It's, it's not going to be us. And this is super easy to do because when and we'll give you guys all this as we're doing it. We'll walk you through it because the prep time on this is only about 15 minutes. The cook time is only 45 minutes, but we're faster. We don't need all of that time because we're pros. Yeah. And yeah. This, this specific recipe that we're going to make makes 36 fritters, which is super cool. So we're, let's dive into this because you already have all the ingredients. And... Yeah. I can get myself down here to the ingredients. I'm using good old Google too for these recipes. <laughs> so let's get, I'm going to tell you all. So corn, most important ingredient corn. If you do not have, it calls for three ears of corn that you have to, you know, cut up, but you know what, we're busy. We don't have time for that. So you can use canned corn or frozen corn, but very, very important note about this. If you do either of those things, frozen or canned corn, um, make sure it's thawed, obviously, and then you have to towel dry them, paper towel dry them. You cannot have any water. Water will, will mess up the recipe. It'll throw off the, the levels of water we're already putting in. So make sure your corn is completely dry. You need about three U.S. size shallots, not which scallions. now we know what that is. Not, not scallions. <laughs> yes, not those. <laughs> We need shallots. We need shallots. And those need to be minced. Um, to be totally honest, I don't even know what that means. So well, I, I cooked them. So I, I cheated. The garlic is minced cheating, right? Cheating. Um, Love it. Like I said, we used a chopper because many years ago I chopped off, I chopped my, cut my finger cutting a carrot. So my husband immediately bought me a chopper. So I think we've done our best <laughs> job of mincing. That, oh, that's the one that's, okay, that's the one that makes your eyes. Let's cover that. This is amazing. So can I just say we're off to a great start. Um, oh, almost yeah. bought, almost bought scallops. Almost bought seafood. Didn't know what the ingredients are. And last time you cut a carrot, you sliced your finger. So this is going to be fantastic. <laughs> so, so we've got that um, five cloves of garlic that are also minced, which you're already on top of. This is really funny to me because if you're using Chinese celery, you need two stalks thinly sliced. 
Um, but you can substitute that for one, one stock of American celery, of U.S. celery. So I guess it depends on what kind of celery you get. So use yeah. that. You're, you're chopping that up. You're looking for about a fourth a cup of celery. Yep. You want two, two stalks of scallions thinly sliced. So that's about a, a fourth of a cup. You've got that. Love yep. it. Yeah. We want a, I did not Google this. I hope you did actually, because I'm I'm messing this up already. 150 grams of all-purpose flour. I don't know I what that's about. Uh, yeah. And as Google okay. wants that, it was like two, two and a quarter cups, I believe. Oh yeah, two thirds cup. I did do that. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, two thirds cup of all purpose flour. And this is super important, guys. This is the secret ingredients. Okay, secret ingredient here the rice flour, um, which it's okay because if you don't, if you can't find rice flour, which sometimes if you are going to make this at home, you guys, you can find it in Asian markets or international markets. They'll, they'll have rice flour. But if you can't find it, you can substitute that with tapioca starch, which is what you have. This is important yeah. because this is what actually makes the fritters crispy. So if you don't have this, you will just have piles of just gooey stuff. You won't have crispy fritters like, like we get here. So make sure you have that. And that is 75 grams. I don't know what that comes out to, but you do. Two thirds of a cup of my memory serves me correctly. Don't quote me, Google it. Love it. Okay, yeah, exactly. Google, Google 75 grams of either rice flour, or tapioca starch, and then one and a half teaspoons of salt one teaspoon of ground pepper, 300 milliliters of ice cold water, another super important ingredient. You really need that. Yeah. And I guess from what I was reading, the important, what makes the corn fritters work is the extreme temperatures. So the oil has to be insanely hot. It needs to be 340 degrees. So that in now probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that in yeah. as, we're, as we're chatting and uh, let that heat up while we mix everything together. Oh, the Rickies are watching and they they're so jealous. They wish they had a cute little assistant like Maddie. <laughs> I do too. I do too, guys. I wish I had an assistant like her. I love this. Oh, Jennifer and Maddie are the perfect cooking stars. I think they are too. I think we're, we're starting a show. We had our own show. I think we, we would turn on the fire fire alarm like we sometimes do, don't we? <laughs> yeah. You know what? It could happen. I think that's just the alarm telling us, yay, go you guys. You're making something great. I, yeah, okay. I'm uh, dabbing the corn to get a little bit more moisture out of there. I might, uh, I might not it. add as much water. Thinking. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Let's yeah, get all that, get all that uh, wetness out of the corn, guys. That's really important. And then again, the hot and the cold. So she's already got the, the oil. She's, we're doing a pan. We're doing a skillet and actually... Let's see, the, the best pot to use they recommend is a cast iron skillet or pot or a Dutch oven because those retain the heat the best. So look at this, I'm giving you all kinds of helpful tips to make the absolute best corn fritters just like you all can sit back, make these and feel like you're here in Indonesia too, just like the street vendors make. So that's important. And then again, the hot and cold. So she's got the, the oil heating up. We want it at 340 degrees and the ice water is really important. So when we mix all these ingredients together, the ice water is going to keep things cold and actually obviously show magic. We're doing this a little bit faster, but if you're making this at home, when you, when you mix all these ingredients together, then go ahead and put them in the fridge, let them get super, super, super cold while you go and heat up your oil because you want the extreme cold dropping into the extreme hot. That is another secret on how to make these things crazy crispy. So keep that in mind. Okay. So you ready to do this? We can, we can do this so fast. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I have this window open in case we do turn on the fire alarm. It's a little sensitive. So, okay. is your husband ready with like a fire extinguisher somewhere in in the near vicinity? The boys in the basement. Hopefully, they'll come and save us, right? I love it. I we'll okay. That will just be more entertaining for everybody at home. There we go. It will. It will yep. be. It will be. We got okay. this. I know we can do this. Okay. Traditional corn fritters, here we come. So we okay. need a large mixing bowl. Got that, love it. Okay, so we're gonna start putting in the corn. Hit. Hold on, baby, if I don't. Yeah. I have it on paper top, so I'm just gonna do it like this. I'll let you guys, can I just say, I, I don't cook, but I love to eat. I really love this power right now of I'm totally, I just get to tell you and you two beautiful people get to make it. <laughs> I really wish I was there to eat this. 
I love this. Okay, so you put the corn in. Now you're going to add the minced shallots. You want add to in that shallots? garlic. I'm sorry. Add shake eight. shallots going in. Shallots <laughs> going in. Okay. Oh, Maddie, I agree with you. Add in the garlic. Okay. Do you have a uh, handy how much garlic? Because I'm cheating. Was it five cloves? Um, that's a great question. Let me consult oh, my Google. Yeah, it was five cloves of garlic minced. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Throw that all in there. Garlic. We're gonna guesstimate. The strong smells too, Manny. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna be smelling real good after you <laughs> eat this. <laughs> Throw in those scallions. Oh, we had a we had a difficulty with the. What? Hey, go ahead. I need to open this piece. Hurry. <gasps> muscles. That is the muscles. That <laughs> odor. Oh, no, sorry. Which are also known as green onions, in case you didn't know. <laughs> now we know. We're all about teaching on this show, <laughs> right? The more you know, and you're a shooting star. Okay. Exactly. Lesson of the day. <laughs> all right. Yeah, go, ahead and throw, yeah. go ahead and throw that celery in there. We're basically throwing all the ingredients, I think, in Everything one by here? one. Okay. So yeah, throw the celery. Here comes the rest of the garlic. Thank you, lovely assistant. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, no. Maddie, is it stinky? Are you trying to tell us it stinks? Because that that's not a good sign. Maybe this is not a good recipe. <laughs> It's very strong smells. I think she's still a little traumatized from the scallops earlier. Scal wait, no, sc scallop. Scallop. Who knows what we're making at this point? Oh, we don't know. We could, it could turn out as, you know, like a tuna on, on the grill. We don't know at this point. Right. OK. OK, love yeah, it. I'm Celery's in. Throw the, throw the eggs in. Egg. Love it. Eggs are in. The flour. Regular flour, not the fancy flour. Right. I mean, both are going to go in. Yeah. Throw in the all purpose flour and then the uh, tapioca starch and the salt and the ground no, no. white pepper. Okay, now this one. Good. And the ice, ice, ice cold water. Throw it all in there. Wait, we got to measure it. We're just making it cold. Okay. Oh, making a mess. I love you guys. I love watching Maddie's face as all of this is unfolding. This is not a, a shining endorsement yet. <laughs> she is holding her nose. Matt, I'm a little worried about this, Maddie. I hope these taste good. Mm -hmm. Do you like corn? Maddie, have you ever had a corn fritter? Do you know what that is? She likes no. corn. That's corn, right, baby? Mm -hmm. I like eggs. I like okay. Yeah. I have a feeling you might like this. You were you you're er, test testing the uh, celery here. Very okay. important part of cooking, I'm sure of it. You have to taste test the ingredients to make sure they're good. All right, we're gonna do a little less water just just in case. I guess we can always we can always add some more. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, mixing. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you mix all of that with a spatula, guys. You're not putting this in an actual mixer. You don't want to do that. You're mixing it gently with a spatula until the batter gets thick. So she's putting some muscle into it. She's mixing it, mixing it. I don't have a good like overview of my. There we go. Oh, there we go. We're getting there. Love it. We're getting there. We're getting there. Hey, Maddie, while your mom's mixing that up, since you have been at all of these ALS walks, can you tell us what it's like? Do you love going to the walks? Do you know the walks? Remember we did um, we did the, we the bikes last year because we couldn't do the walks in person, right? And then this year, Mommy ran, did a run. You remember? No, you don't remember? Maddie, I guess I so before 2019, Maddie was only 
four. Okay. Or, no, we're not even four yet. So. Okay. So she I think, remembers the one, the ones at home. Okay. I think we traumatized her with the smell of that garlic and those onions. I think we just, you know, she, she's forgotten all of her words now. <laughs> right. Right. And she's very um. Maddie is very task oriented, so she okay. is probably focused on the task at hand. Right. We're gonna make these. Okay. I love it. I love it. How is our so guys? Basically, um, this recipe is so simple. It's it's three steps. It's truly okay. three steps. It's as simple as like. Yeah. Well, the pan is hot. That's what we smell. Okay, so. Is it nice and thick? Ooh. What do you think? Love it. Okay. I like it. So I think it's mixed. I don't see yeah. any yolks. Looks mixed to me. Beautiful. Now, again, in, in the moment of live magic, we're not going to take the next step, but you would put this in the refrigerator, let it get cold, let it keep doing its thing and getting a little bit thicker. And you leave that in there for a little bit while you're heating up your pan. And then you bring out the crazy, crazy cold mix. And then you start putting it in the fryer. We're just going to skip over this because we know it's going to be amazing anyway. So you can either take a ladle or you can use an ice cream scoop or whatever you want to do. But now all we do is you have this super hot oil that is on the stove that is safe huh? because we don't want anyone to burn themselves. And you just drop a ladle full into the hot oil and fry it until it's golden brown. So it'll be about two to three minutes on each side. Okay. All right. Mitch. I'm yeah. going to have you stay here because it's hot. Yep. All right. And I'm going to bring yeah. Stephen here to come with me. Yay. Okay. I love this. I love that we get a glimpse into your kitchen too. We get to watch you work in, in your magic okay. space. I was gonna clean like the floors. I'm like, you know, not until maybe after this might be a better Good idea. Call. So. Good call. Good call. And guys, a couple extra tips here that I learned while I was Googling and reading this recipe is that a great way to tell if it's hot enough is if you take a little bit of the batter, if you it, it should be shimmery. And the, the oil should be sort of shimmering. And then if a, a piece of batter goes in there, it should just sink a little bit and then pretty much pop up to the top pretty quickly. That's how you know it's hot enough. Okay, we'll try that. So just a little bit, a little bit of the batter. I don't know if I could do this and do this. Oh yeah, we'll try this. Ooh, talent. Ooh, I think it's hot Ooh. enough. I think it might need more. Yeah. If they're gonna be big, I love it. No, no, you can make them as big. You can make them whatever size you want. Just take some of that batter, just toss it in there, and we might have to give that new. We might have to give that new oil a little bit of time to heat up, but you know, it's okay. 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 And we're good. I love it. We're, we're frying, we're frying up some corn fritters. And guys, another really awesome tip is to use a high smoking point oil, which honestly, I didn't even know what this meant, but I'm just taking the recommendations. They said either peanut oil, canola oil, or vegetable oil. Those are the yeah, best vegetable. oils. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. And then after you fry them, you just want to have a sort of, um, the racks to cool them on, but make sure you put a pan, like a cookie sheet or something underneath it, because it is going to drip and you don't want to get all that all over your counter. So you just want sort of a cooling rack, something with some metal wires that you can set. Once we take them out of the hot oil, we'll set them on there, let them dry for a hot second. Beautiful. And then these puppies are ready to eat as soon as they're cool enough to go in your mouth. All right. I think we're good. But Maddie, I'm going to have you stand back so we can put a sweater. Lovely assistant. We don't want to injure the lovely assistant. All yes, right. Our goal today is to make these without getting any injuries. <laughs> yeah, no injuries. I might throw this in there and step back. Okay. We're oh. ready. We're ready. Let's here do this. Go. Corn fritters, here we come. You're on your tippy toes. Okay. I'm sure. All right. I hear some sizzles. We're gonna try oh, this. I love it. Scooper. I love it. So it says like two to three minutes on each side. So okay. we have a couple minutes. So as, as that sizzle, that looks good. I think we're I think we're on to something. I think we're doing this right. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. So we're good. <laughs> we're all right. Let me do another. 
Okay. I love it. We'll see. It's Oh, it's a scary game. Oh, yeah. Now we're sizzling. Ooh, sizzle. That's the sound of magic happening. Something's happening in there. Let's hope it's what's supposed to happen because either one of us know if it's not. But I, th I think we're on the right track here. I think we'll be good. Have you, uh, have, you, have you ever tried corn fritters? Do you like these things? I don't know. I don't know if I've ever had a corn fritter. I'm definitely going to try it tonight, but we'll see. So I don't know if this is a thing because I, I don't cook. I don't know. I don't. Can you put plastic into hot oil? Is the oil just going to melt your plastic thing in your hand? Uh, good to call. We got another one. We'll see. It's this. <laughs> I don't think you can see that hot, but it's always good know. to be safe. I don't or know. Maybe you can just like a regular. I got a bottle one. We'll be good. I love it. I think I think a seasoned sunflower hour cookbook is needed for a holiday gift giving. You know what? That is a great idea. I'm into it. I'm into it. We will try all these recipes out. Oh, oh. I got many girls. <laughs> Uh, I know. I'm totally on board with that. We could definitely do that. I'm, I'm into it. it. You know what? Actually, I love this idea. So I want to challenge everyone that's watching. If you guys have a favorite recipe, something that uh, maybe a comfort food, something that's been passed down from your family, just whatever it may be. If you have a favorite recipe, go ahead and submit that to us and maybe we can make this happen. Maybe we can put together sort of a compilation of all of our Sunflower family's favorite oh, yeah. recipes. Either we can try cooking them, you know, we can make our own little cooking show on Twitch. We'll try all of these recipes. Uh, we'll yep. see if they're, you know, Season and Jennifer and Maddie approved, especially since the two of us aren't cooks. So if we can do it, anyone can do it. So right. let's make that happen, you guys. So you can submit them. You can shoot them to either direct message us on Instagram uh, at ALSA Chicago, or you can go ahead and email them to me, season at ALSAChicago.org. But that's a that's an awesome idea, Donna. Thank you for bringing that up. I think we should make that happen. Cookbook coming soon. Contribute some recipes to that, and let's see what we come up with. Or let us know if you have any things that you enjoy, and I'll try to find a recipe for. You can see how that goes. So how is our? So we're doing two to three minutes on each side. How are these puppies yeah. looking? I think we're doing okay. I think this looks very greasy. Hold on, I'm gonna transfer it, and I'll show you guys. This one looks okay. And actually, I think it smells pretty good. Maddie, do you think it smells good? Ooh. Oh, watch your head. Here we go. We're going to show them. Oh, Ooh. I don't know if you can see it very well. See if I got maybe a little bit of a shot. I, I love it. A little cooked. But it looks cooked. Okay. So that's good. Okay. Got to make sure that it's cooked well. It's true. We're not we're not about raw eggs here. Sam, do you actually have the photos that I sent you? Do you have the pictures of what the recipe shows them to, that they look like? So Jennifer, <laughs> I, can you zoom in? Can you? Can you take your phone? Can you zoom in for us on yeah. what your corn fritter look like? I'm going to have Sam throw up that photo of what they should look like. <laughs> let's see how close we came to, let's see if people still Probably want to cook for us. Well, that's Sam's going for it. Oh, I love it. Oh, you know, <laughs> that is a little bit, that's a little cooked. But you okay, know what I, I think we're okay. right back. Hold on. This I think we're <laughs> I love this. Oh. You know what? That is so awesome. Well, I don't want you to burn the other ones. When Sam gets that one up, we'll do a side by side comparison. But yeah, uh, yeah, I guess we should we should wait till we've tasted these before we actually say that people want a cookbook from us. <laughs> <laughs> if these don't taste right, they may take back that that request. Ooh, so so we're asking people, what's your favorite Thanksgiving Day get, day dish? And the Rickies are all about that turkey. Me too, guys. I'm yeah. a stuffing girl. I love me some stuffing. Mm. Hey, hi. I got another little helper. Hold on. <laughs> hi. Did you smell the food? Does it smell so good? You just had to come and see what it was. These are corn fritters. Oh, can I get down? Can I get down to the party? You're having a party. Okay. Oh. That was right. Don't worry. We'll, su we'll supply the corn fritters for the party. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this one looks a 
better. You know, that was the first one. You know, the first okay. one is trial, right? So True. trial. The first one never counts. Hey Maddie, what do you think about the smell now? Do they smell good now? I think it smells good. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so that guy, that's what they should look like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, okay, there we go. That's perfect. That's what they should look like. So Jennifer, throw up there. Let's give them a little something, something. Show them what they do look like. Ooh, hold on. I got to put it on a spatula. Okay. Oh. Ooh. You know what? That's close. Ish. I mean, ish. Yeah. I think we're onto something. It's okay. It's a little, it's all right. I mean, it's. It's better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I love this. You're my right. Skills. <laughs> oh, we got a comment. Should is subjective. You are very right, viewer. It is subjective. And, you know, um, I think ours have a little bit more character and personality. Absolutely. Absolutely. Who wants a, who wants a perfect? It looks too good to eat in that picture. We don't want that. We, we want the real thing. We're giving you a glimpse on what the recipe, what they actually look like. <laughs> When the average person who isn't a professional chef makes them, this is what they come out to be. So um, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. So, th so basically this batch makes 36 or around 36. Oh, great job. She is doing great. Look, we're going to add another hat to the plate here um, of your many talents. Now we're going to add cook and chef. Oh, or starter master. <laughs> To the list, yeah, this batch will make about 36 of them, give or take uh, a few. It's that simple. It's literally three steps. The ingredients are super simple. And what's really awesome about this is it's completely subject. You can make whatever you want. You don't have to do the things we did. You can throw in any kind of ingredients you want, as long as you keep some of the basics, with the water, the, the all-purpose flour, the starch, the salt, the pepper, all of that stuff. But throw in veggies. If you're vegan, you can make vegan virgin. Uh, <laughs> Vegan version, huh? I'm getting too excited about looking at all these fritters. If you are vegetarian, you can make vegetarian ones. You can throw meat in there. Really play around with this recipe, make all kinds of uh, versions of this. But corn fritters happen to be my favorite because I've been eating them every day. I want to see you guys taste these. I want to see what you think of our Indonesian version of corn fritters. Let's give this a try. Try one. Right away. Okay, let's do the prettiest one. Okay. All right, hang on. You're gonna come back with us. Yes, I love it. Okay. All right, Maddie. That's the one. So, you can try this. I'm so proud of you. You're gonna try it. Okay, let's get a fork. <gasps> I'm so jealous right now. You want me to try it first? You want to try it first? You try it first? You're going to try it? All right, man. It's going to try it first. So make sure it's not too hot. And make sure it's done in the middle. <laughs> okay. Let me see you. It's good? Yeah. Okay. Yay. Are you, are you telling the truth or just because you're on a on TV or on a show. No, you're not. No, you, so is this a two thumbs up? Is this a Maddie approved recipe? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Yay. That's good. Mm -hmm. it's, very, ooh, it's very good. I love it. Is it nice and crispy? Is it all the things that we wanted it to be? Oh, mm. she's going for more. Oops, drop it. Okay, this okay. is a good sign. So uh, we were off to a rocky start that the ingredients smell bad, but apparently once you cook them, it smells fantastic. And it is obviously Maddie approved and she's going back for more. I love this. Yeah, I'm surprised. So that's good. Oh, and more. Yeah. Oh, I, love Yay. I love this. Okay, well, we might have just found a new Beckman family favorite recipe here. Yeah. Maybe these will make an appearance at your Thanksgiving dinner. And hey, you guys, if you're watching, you know, if you want to bring a little international flair to your Thanksgiving day table along with that turkey, yeah. these are easy to make, so quick and easy. You can throw some of these 
on your table and enjoy some corn fritters. And a side note, if you do have leftovers, throw those in the fridge. You can even throw them in the freezer and then don't, don't microwave them and don't pat them dry with a paper towel because that will make them soggy as well. So if you have any leftovers and you do keep those, they'll, they'll keep for about three days. I, I wouldn't take it longer than two, but um, when you bring them out, just heat some oil again, throw them back in there for, for just long enough to heat them on both sides and that'll keep them nice and crispy. Perfect. Love it. Well, <laughs> Jennifer, you are such, you are so much fun and you are such a good, good spirit letting us throw all this at you. Thank you for just blindly trusting me and bringing us into your kitchen. We had so much fun with you and now we have this new recipe and now I'm craving some corn fritters. <laughs> Yeah, it'll definitely have to get some. No, thanks so much for having me. I'm so glad that it came out decent instead of a, a mess. So I would call it a success. There are no injuries I'm impressed with that. and success. Yes. It's true. <laughs> no, no spills, no messes, no injuries. Yeah. This is a success. Pretty, yeah, very good. Cookbook, cookbook, here we come. Cooking channel. Look us up if you need a, if you want to, you know, build a show around us. We understand yeah. why you would want to do that. Absolutely. We're, Absolutely. we're here. I love it. Well, Jennifer, before we go out, will you guys enjoy these delicious corn fritters? Do you have anything you want to say to everybody? Um, just thank you so much for allowing me to be here tonight and for my special guest, Madeline. And um, no, just thank you so much for all you do, all the viewers, um, for everything that you do for to help us, to support us as staff and for getting us to that $100,000. That's an amazing feat. Um, that you announced or right before everything started. So, no, just thanks for everything. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. And um, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I think May. Thirsty. <laughs> Do you have any defense assistance? No. <laughs> I mean, it's a live show, it. everybody. A live show. <laughs> Live show. It, this is this is real life happening right there in the back of the kitchen. I love it. Well, I'm going to let you get back to making the rest of those corn fritters. And I hope the family enjoys them as much as Maddie is <laughs> right now. Keep going if you want some more. Oh, you're just going to take it? All right. She's leaving with the fritters. So, okay. Six, success. I count that as a massive success. And you're right. That cookbook does need a whole Maddie approved chapter. I like where we're going with this. You're, that means I think, Jennifer, you're going to have to make all these recipes and they only make the book if Maddie approves of them. Okay, that's fair. She likes lobster and salmon. Like she's got quite the palate. So if you have okay. a lot of variety in there, yeah. Love it. You know what? I have a lobster roll. I have a lobster roll recipe from Switzerland. So we'll make this a whole international thing. That sounds delicious. I love lobster rolls. Love that for Next me? time. So, yeah. yeah, deal, <laughs> deal. Well, Jennifer, thank you for everything you've done. And I know that your grandpa would be so proud of you. And I love that you're keeping his story alive and doing this in his honor. So to him, to you, awesome. Love you guys. Thank you, Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thanks again. Of course, <laughs> have a great night. <laughs> you too. Or morning, I should say, morning. <laughs> I'll have a great morning. You have a great night. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Bye.